The minutes show differing opinions from Fed officials debating when to wind down its bond purchases and end its quantitative easing program. A few members said the program's costs already exceed its benefits and should be wrapped up soon, but most of the Fed officials want to keep the program going at least through mid-year. Joining us now from New York with his analysis of the Federal Reserve's latest minutes, minutes rather, and Wall Street's recent record run is Peter Cardillo. He's the chief market economist at Rockwell Global Capital. And Peter, first of all, what do you make of this uh, leaking of these minutes? Is that uh, a big screw-up or just something kind of rather funny? It's not the first time that this has happened. You know, there, we've had uh, the government release that or, um, beforehand. I think it's uh, just a human error. Um, so, you know, I don't put too much into it. Um, I don't think that, uh, you know, it was obviously not done in intentionally. Uh, just a slip of uh, the finger, I guess. Well, Peter, let's uh, let's talk about this big debate, uh, whether or not the Fed should uh, pull the plug on its bond buying spree sooner rather than later. It seems like there's even some uh, some disagreement within the Fed. Oh, there's no question. There's no question that the division is uh, uh, increasing among the Fed members. And of course, you know, uh, there's even uh, one or two m uh, members of the Fed who would like to end the uh, bond buying program immediately. Uh, but, you know, I think uh, if you really dissect the uh, Fed minutes, you'll see that uh, uh, even though the, um, the uh, minutes indicated that uh, some of the economic uh, uh, indicators have gotten stronger, uh, obviously they were referring to the first quarter, and there's no question about that. But if you look at the present economic data, it's just the opposite. I mean, we can go uh, through report, uh, uh, report after report, and we'll see a weakening. In fact, uh, uh, last Friday's unemployment data certainly showed uh, uh, employment growth slowing. And so uh, I kind of suspect that, yes, there's a lot of noise out there about them uh, cutting short the program or perhaps uh, extending it going beyond, uh, to, to mid-year. Uh, but my, my suspicion tells me that the weakness in economic data is going to worsen over the next uh, uh, one or two months, and that means uh, that they're probably going to go to the end of the year. Well, now, could they cut back uh, in the amounts on a month-to-month -month basis? That's a possibility. But I doubt that they're going to stop uh, the, the uh, bond-buying program. Well, Peter, what would you favor? Well, you know, right now there is no inflation. And uh, the biggest concern out there is what happens uh, when they do stop quantitative easing. Uh, what happens to inflation? Uh, what happens to the stock market? And probably uh, more importantly, what happens to interest rates? Are we going to see a major spike upward? And that obviously would be very negative uh, for many of the markets. And so I think that's the real concern. And so I think the chatter among uh, the Fed members is to try to send a message to the markets that they are aware of the consequences, but believe that it can, uh, that the uh, 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 unwinding of, uh, of the stimulants can be done without uh, having a massive uh, uh, run on inflation and certainly a large spike in interest rates. Peter, uh, the, the, there are those who are uh, saying that this is a Fed-inspired rally. Uh, how much are they contributing to this rally? Oh, there's no question about that. There's absolutely no question about it. You know, you have uh, easy money, and it's hard to fight easy money. And when you have uh, uh, the, uh, m many of the central banks around the globe that are, uh, that are injecting liquidity into the marketplace, and, in, and interest rates are near zero, uh, obviously there's no place to put your money. And so it flows into stock. Now, it doesn't mean that, uh, you know, there aren't some of the fundamentals in place for it, but the key of this uh, uh, stock rally is uh, uh, easy money. Peter, uh, what happens then when the, when the pullback occurs? You, you were talking about this internal debate and some urging them to already do it. What happens to the rally then? Well, you know, the, the Fed is going to have to uh, really uh, uh, make sure that uh, they can uh, unwind this uh, in a very uh, uh, fashionable way, uh, and uh, they're going to have to try and prevent uh, 
hopefully what the markets are fearing, and that is uh, uh, a collapse in, uh, uh, in equity prices, a spike in interest rates, uh, bond prices uh, coming down. Uh, I, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't want to sound as though I'm forecasting that. Well, but I, I, I do think that, you know, um, they're going to have to really um, work very hard and, and uh, uh, unwind it in a way that it's not going to affect the markets. Peter, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us live from New York this evening. Always uh, appreciate your insights.